Hi guys, the objective of this video is to have a look at the three different types of rock, igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary. We will just briefly talk about the properties of the different rock types and how these rock types form to see what sets them apart from each other. So firstly we will have a look at igneous rocks. Majority of the earth is actually made up of igneous rocks and it forms from the solidification of molten rock, that is either magma or lava. This crystallization of the molten rock can occur either at the surface or underground. The molten rock will solidify at temperatures from 1100 degrees to 650 degrees, depending on the composition of the rock and according to Bowen's reaction series. If you're not sure about Bowen's reaction series or the different magma compositions that exist, then I would maybe suggest you go and watch the last two videos of the previous section. In these videos, we had a look at how magma forms and the different types of magma. This is quite important in order to understand igneous rocks because this is what igneous rocks form from. Igneous rock is often characterized by having a crystal structure. However, this is not always the case. The crystal structure comes from the fact that the molten rock solidifies and the crystals can either be small or large depending on whether the rock has cooled quickly or slowly. Here are a few examples of igneous rocks just to give you an idea of what they look like. I have labelled the rocks with their names but don't worry too much about this right now. We will be covering how to classify these igneous rocks in later videos and you will soon be, soon be familiar with all of these names. I have also labelled these rocks with some simple observations that can be made about them. Firstly, the granite and the diorite has quite large crystals which indicates that they cooled much more slowly. Then the basalt over here which has quite small crystals that can hardly be seen with the naked eye. These small crystals indicate that the basalt cooled out of very, very quickly. Over here we have a volcanic breccia which looks very different to the granite, diorite and basalt because it actually formed due to an explosive eruption which is what caused us to have all these fragmented bits of rock within the volcanic breccia. This fragmentation and the angular shape of each of the pieces within the rock is due to the explosiveness of the eruption that occurred. The next type of rock we will have a look at is sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock forms from layers of sediment which are deposited on the earth's surface and most commonly in bodies of water. This sediment can be anything from mud to sand all the way up to pebbles. And this sediment accumulates in layers which then becomes buried deep below the earth and this sediment is then cemented together in a process called lithification. Lithification involves cementing the sediment together to form solid rock. There are four main types of sedimentary rock which all form from the cementing of different types of sediment. Here are a few photos of a few different types of sedimentary rock just to give you an idea of what they look like. Once again, don't worry too much about their specific names as we will be talking about naming these rocks in later videos when we talk about rock classification. But I've also labelled with them with some clear observations that we can make. The sandstone, as the name suggests, is made up of sand particles which have cemented together. And we can see the layers within the sandstone which show the different levels of sediment as they have been laid on the ground. Here the conglomerate is made up of lots of pebbles which have all been cemented together and the mudstone has been formed through the cementation of dark mud particles. And finally we have limestone which is made up of dead marine organisms which have fallen to the ocean floor and accumulated, then buried and lithified to form limestone. And finally, the last rock type we will have a look at is metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock forms when original rock is transformed in a process called metamorphism. When a pre-existing rock, which can either be sedimentary rock or igneous rock, is, subject, is subjected to high temperatures and or great pressure, the rock can be physically changed and chemically changed, producing metamorphic rocks. As you can imagine, there's a huge variety of metamorphic rocks because there's a huge number of igneous and sedimentary rocks which can experience the process of metamorphism. Once again, here are a few photos of a few different types of metamorphic rocks. We can see here some of the sedimentary and igneous rocks we have seen earlier in the video. However, now they have been metamorphosed. Firstly, granitic gneiss forms when granite 
is metamorphosed. Marble forms through the metamorphosis of limestone and shale forms through the metamorphosis of mudstone. Gneiss is a general term which is used to describe any metamorphic rock that has this foliation pattern in it, which forms due to the metamorphosis process. Gneiss can form from either igneous or sedimentary rock. So now we know the difference between the three major rock types, igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. I will be going into more detail about each rock type in the videos to come.